<laughs> oh, God bless the techies. I love them. Old man Kelly was dead. Now, Widow Kelly was sad about his passing, but in a way, she was kind of relieved. Y you see, in all the years they were married, Widow Kelly never got a moment of peace and quiet. All day long, non-stop, old man Kelly talked. <coughs> Day in and day out, it was yak, 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 yak. So after she buried him in the graveyard up on top of the hill, she came home that night and made herself some supper. Then she put on the tea kettle, poured herself a cup of tea, and then sat down in her rocking chair for her first night of peace and Quiet. She sat in that chair and rocked back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Bam! The door blew open. <coughs> and in walked old man Kelly. He went over to his rocking chair and he sat himself down and he started in. Yak, 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 yak. What are you doing here? You are dead. Ooh, I don't feel dead. Well, you are dead. Get yourself back to that graveyard. No, sirree. Not until I feel dead. Now, when Kelly sat there for a few more minutes listening to him yak before she finally decided she had enough, and she got up and went to bed. The next morning, she got up, and at first she thought maybe it had just been a bad dream, but when she walked out into the living room and saw the trail of dirt leading from the front door to the rocking chair, she knew it wasn't. She swept all that graveyard dirt out the front door, made herself breakfast, did her chores for the day, and by the time supper time had come around and she hadn't seen any sign of old man Kelly, she thought maybe that was the end of it. So after supper, she made herself another cup of tea, sat down in her rocking chair, and was really looking forward to that first night of peace and quiet. She started rocking back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth. And back and forth. Whoa! The door blew open again. And in walked old man Kelly. He stomped and stumbled over to his chair, plopped down in his rocker, and he started in again. Yak, 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 yak. What are you doing here? You are dead. I sure don't feel dead. Well, you are dead. Get yourself back to that graveyard. Nope, nope, not until I feel dead. Well, after a couple more minutes of listening to him yak on and on, Will Kelly had enough, and she went on back to her bedroom and went to sleep. Now, this went on for days, and then weeks, and then months. Every night after dinner, as soon as she made herself a cup of tea and sat down in her rocking chair, to rock back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth. Wham! The door would blow open and would walk old man Kelly. Plop down in his chair and start in again. Yak, 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 yak. Now, if that wasn't bad enough, as time went on, it was more than dirt that old man Kelly was leaving behind on the floor. Every morning, Widow Kelly would have to get up and sweep out pieces of dirt and pieces of old man Kelly. <laughs> 
And that morning she found that eyeball under the table. She was off her feet for a week. Oh, it was just horrible. Now, after a year, there was nothing left to old man Kelly but his bones. But he still showed up every night, plopped down on his chair, and yak, clack, yak, clack, yak, clack, yak, clack, yak, clack, yak, 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 she decided something had to be done, and she knew exactly what it was going to be. Now, you see, in town was Mr. Murphy's general store. Mr. Murphy was a bachelor. And everyone in town had noticed that since old man Kelly had died, Mr. Murphy had gotten kind of sweet on Widow Kelly. She was, after all, still a good-looking woman. She decided to take advantage of that. And she also knew the way to a bachelor's heart. Food. <laughs> so she went, jumped up on her bug board and went in town and rode straight to Mr. Murphy's store. As soon as she walked in, Mr. Murphy smiled. Ah, oh, Widow Kelly, what can I do for you? And she said, well, Mr. Murphy, I need 50 pounds of flour, 50 pounds of beans, 50 pounds of coffee, 50 pounds of rice, 50 pounds of sugar. Well, that's an awful lot of stuff for me to carry, Mr. Murphy. And I was hoping maybe you'd load up your wagon and bring it to me tonight. And in return, if you do that for me, I'd make you a home-cooked meal. I'd make you chicken and dumplings, fresh green beans, fried green tomatoes. And how about some homemade peach cobbler? <laughs> well, Mr. Murphy sure wasn't going to turn that down. Now, there was something else real special about Mr. Murphy. He was a talented fiddle player. <laughs> Why, whenever there was a barn dance or a hoedown in town, they always invited Mr. Murphy to come and play for him. So before she left, Widow Kelly turned to Mr. Murphy and said, Mr. Murphy, I'd be right pleased if you'd bring your fiddle with you, and then after supper you could play me some tunes. And, of course, Mr. Murphy was pleased to do so. She said her goodbyes and headed back home and went to work cooking that dinner. Now, that evening, Mr. Murphy showed up with, Mrs. with Widow Kelly's big order, and he brought it all into the house, and then he sat down and ate his chicken and dumplings and fresh cream beans, fried green tomatoes, and then he ate that peach cobbler. And then after dinner, she said, why don't we have a cup of tea and sit down in the rocking chair by the fire first for just a moment. So after the tea was made, they both plopped down in the rocking chairs and started rocking. Back and forth, and 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 back and forth. The door blew open and in walked old man Kelly's bones. Oh, oh. Poor Mr. Murphy had hot tea all over him, was hiding over in the dark corner. <laughs> now, Mr. Murphy, what are you doing? Now, I'm, I'm watching you, Mr. Murphy. You're sidling over toward the door. You get back in here. No. <laughs> Mr. Murphy, you promised me you'd play some fiddle tunes in exchange for that fine meal I made you. Now, never you mind, Mr. Kelly. You just get that fiddle out and you start playing me some tunes. Why, well, I have an idea. Mr. Kelly's favorite song was Turkey in the Straw. Why don't you play that? Well, Mr. Murphy did agree to play the fiddle and he didn't know what else to do, so he got it out and started playing. Well, despite the quality of the music, old man Kelly, his feet started tapping. His hands started clapping. His feet were rocking. 
And his knees were a knocking. His teeth were a clicking. And his head was a clacking. And he got up and started to dance. All of a sudden, one of his toe bones broke off, went flying through the air, and bam, smacked with a Kelly right between the eyes. Now, Mr. Murphy looked at horror at what happened, but Whitta Kelly just looked over at him and said, play a little faster. He didn't know what else to do, so he did. And pretty soon, old man Kelly's feet started knocking. And his knees started knocking. His hands were clapping. Mr. Murphy, that was right kind of you. You can go home now. <laughs> Mr. Murphy slammed that fiddle in his fiddle case. He went racing out the door and he ran all the way to town before he realized he had ridden his buckboard up there. <laughs> now, Widow Kelly didn't care much about what happened to Mr. Murphy. She just went over and she got toe sack off the wall and got her broom out of the corner and she swept all of old man Kelly's bones into that toe sack. She tied it up and knotted it real tight grabbed the shovel, threw the toe sack over her shoulder, and she marched out of the house and up the hill to the graveyard. <laughs> and she found old man Kelly's grave, dug it back up, lifted the lid off the coffin, dropped those bones in the coffin, dropped the lid. <laughs> And after she dusted her hands off, she looked down and said, Well, you look dead now. <laughs> and then she walked herself back to her house, made herself a cup of tea, sat down in her rocking chair, and rocked back and forth and forth. 